Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. This moto scene contains every single procedural texture in the Octane 2023 version. So all of these textures right here under procedural, and there's a lot of them, and there's a lot more because Cinema 4D has a whole bunch of different textures in there. The procedural uh, textures, procedural effects have a whole bunch of different textures, and they're all set up in the shader tree for you already. So it's a great reference scene. If you want to download this on the Pixel Fondue Discord, it'll be in the Moto content section, and I'll also place it in the Octane content section. So if you want to see, for instance, what the tripper procedural texture looks like, you just flip it on like that. You can also go in here into the schematic if you want to, and you can see it right there, and you can do things like, you know, whatever, change some of the effects in here, see what it would look like if you change the scale or maybe some colors, no problem. And like I said, there's a lot of them. So you could just flip these on or off if you want to see like the iridescent color or the, if you don't know what the hedge slag is, well, it's that, <laughs> okay? And there's a whole bunch of like Cinema 4D noise groups, as I said. So you just open up this, you just turn on the Cinema 4D noise group. And if you don't know what the Luca texture looks like, it looks like that. The Ober texture looks like that. The Sema texture looks like that. So these are things that would take a lot of time to um, sort of mess around with and set up your own schematic. So like I said, it's a great resource. There's a ton of procedural textures as well. So you go into procedural textures, you want to see what volumetric paint looks like. Looks like that. Cool texture. Wavy colors, just like that. And because this is Moto, you can just flip these things on and off and just see all kinds of stuff, right? Fractal 3, that's a cool one. Let's click Fractal 3 and go in here and maybe adjust some settings. Uh, let's adjust the time setting. And uh, you can just see a change in the viewport in you know, real time and, and Octane it's so fast. So you can just you know scroll back and forth and look at the Fractal setting moving. And again, like I said, great... Um, Great resource just to kind of mess around. Paint colors one, same thing. Go in here and sort of squish these around and you can see it in real time. Okay, like I said, these will be on the Pixel Fondue Discord in the Moto content section. I'll also put them in the Octane content section. You're all welcome to use the Pixel Fondue Shader Ball for your own projects. And I just like to just sort of stress how nice it is to have Octane in the shader tree where you can just quickly, you know, flip through these different uh, procedure textures really quick immediately get to the schematic if you want to and change the settings. Now, if I wanna save a preset out of here to use it in my scene after playing around with these and getting these whatever settings I like in one of these procedural textures, I can just press stop on the uh, renderer here and then I'll select the uh, preset or I'll select the group over here, the override in the shader tree and then I'll bring up the schematic. To select all these nodes, there's just a little button here on the uh, Octane toolbar, select all nodes. And then you can say save as preset. Just go to your folder. Here I am in my textures octane presets group here. And I'll call this just portal.lxp like that. And it's going to ask you if you want to say, if you want to continue, so just hit OK. Then if you want to re-import that texture, I can just open up my shader ball here. I'm just going to turn off that guy in procedural effects. And I'm going to go over here to my asset browser. And I'm going to find that folder that I just saved to. So I'm going to add a path. I'm going to go textures octane presets select folder. Now I'm in that folder and Octane will automatically save a thumbnail for you. And then you just drag it in. Now here's the only place where it gets a little bit weird. So when I drag it in to the shader ball group, it's actually, it never puts it in the right group. It always puts it at the top or the bottom. So I just have to grab this guy and just throw it back in there. Now you can see it's there at the top. And so when I hit render, I'll get that portal effect. And there it is. So like I said, you've got all of the presets in the scene here. Just download that from the Discord. You can activate whichever one you're interested in, adjust the parameters of that one, save out a preset, and you're good to go. Yum, yum.